Hello everyone and welcome to a continuation to a video I did almost three years ago about the frozen class or blur effect uh, you can reach with um, what was it blit frame buffer uh, in OpenGL and for a long for a, quite a while I've been trying to get a stronger blur effect like you see here um, uh, if you uh, look at this one here, it's um, you see it's quite blurry, and it's not the bloom effect kind of blurry. It's um, it's way stronger blur, and I couldn't figure out for my life how they how they did this, um, because on the website Learn OpenGL where I copied the code for my blur renderer for uh, from. They um, had some blurring, but no matter how strong or how many, how, uh, how many blur iterations I did, um, the blur never was strong enough. So I've been looking into methods to do so. And um, I wouldn't make this video if I wouldn't have found a way. So I assume you are doing um, multi-sampling because the um, uh, the blit frame buffer, uh, where is it here? The GL blit frame buffer has a problem with multi-sampling, um, especially if um, your read frame buffer is multi-sampled and your draw frame buffer is not multi-sampled. Sampled. Um, so you need an intermediate um, same resolution uh, frame buffer that essentially does uh, absolutely nothing. Um, so what you do is copy your default frame buffer that's uh, I th or at least the, the frame buffer you are um, drawing your scene to. Um, uh, copy it with a blit frame buffer to your temporary full resolution frame buffer object. Uh, to get, yeah, as I said, to get rid of the multi-sample. Then you can use this um, uh, this temporary frame buffer that essentially contains the same image as uh, you've, uh, you've already drawn and um, copy it to, uh, again with blit fr uh, frame buffer to your ping pong frame buffer. If you don't know what the ping pong frame buffer is, um, look at learn OpenGL. Um, I think it's learnopengl.org or something. Um, frame. Um, I think it's the Bloom tutorial um, where they explain how they um, create um, all the shaders and stuff. And then you do the blurring just like in the tutorial and then you copy the lower resolution um, destination ping pong buffer to the full resolution ping pong buffer. Uh, oh, I think I um, forgot to mention that the ping pong, both, um, both ping pong frame buffers need to have a lower resolution and you can um, get quite quite creative uh, with those. Um, so if you know OpenGL and you've uh, been looking for a way to do this, I think you already know everything. There's uh, you need to know. For everyone else, um, I'm going to go through my code bit by bit, and um, I think you will see uh, where the stronger effect comes from. So uh, what essentially blurring is doing is um, taking a lot of detail and breaking it down and interpolating it. And you can use a uh, Gaussian, uh, I don't know how it's pronounced in English, Gaussian blur um, for that. And you can your rendering kernel um, as complex as you want, but simple uh, the simplest way is just to um, do the blurring at a way lower resolution 
So that's what I did. Um, I set up my low resolution ping pong buffers. I have a scale factor that's uh, 16 um, at the moment and I set everything up here. So the texture that's bound to the ping pong buffers is just at a 16th uh, re um, resolution. And um, as you can imagine, this reduces also load on your GPU because if you only have, uh, if it's, if uh, X and Y axis is only a 16th, you have um, 16th times 16th, uh, I forget how much, how much it was, I think 256 times less um, calls to your. Um, Or was it called the fragment shader? Yeah, it's a fragment shader. And um, oh, that's labeled wrong. That's the high resolution, and that's just the temporary frame buffer. It doesn't do anything essentially. Um, your min and max filters, um, I set them to linear. I haven't tested what happens with nearest, but I think linear should be the best because what you're wanting to do is get rid of data so um, just interpolating linearly um, sounded like a good idea to me and after setting them up what i essentially do is the same thing uh, that i explained in here i um yeah, copy the default frame buffer to my temporary frame buffer, my temporary frame buffer uh, where I lost all the multi-sampling multi um, to my uh, ping pong buffer, it's the uh, zero one. And that's the thing that you shouldn't forget to do is to set the viewport because the viewport um, seems to um, indicate how often the uh, fragment shader is called because if you don't set the viewport and reset the viewport after you are done with your low resolution work with the uh, blurring here, um, then you're just getting, uh, I think it was a gray blob. So everything's gray like an, like an empty, like an empty frame buffer. Yeah, um, so, yeah, to the ping pong buffer, um, set the viewport, do your blurring. Uh, this code doesn't change because everything else is done here above. And then use a blit, fra a blit frame buffer to <clears throat> go from your low resolution result ping pong um, frame buffer object. This can be the first or the second. Um, it depends on how many blur iterations you're going through and yeah and then you are just um, resetting the viewport splitting back and the high resolution um, or temporary uh, frame buffer object um, or let's say the, the texture that's the color attachment to the um, yeah, high resolution frame buffer object con now contains the blurred image and the blurred image looks a little bit like this. It just compiles for a second and as you can see the blur is much stronger than what I've shown in the previous video and you can increase the blur um, by either increasing blur iterations, but this might not be necessary. You can, could just lower the scale factor to just, um, I tried it out, out with uh, 32. And um, yeah, recompile. And as you can see, it's, yeah, just a smudge really, but if a really strong blur is what you're going for, then um, this is your way to go. Yeah, and um, and I think that's it uh, because yeah, 
not not much to it and if you want the code i will link it in a um github um and there's this function where you can link a single file uh in github and i would i will put it in the description and yeah i th uh, i think that that's it and i hope it helps so just lowering the resolution of your ping pong um buffers and textures um, reduces your GPU load and also gives you a stronger blur. So win-win for everybody. And thank you for listening and have a great day.